Hi, welcome to Live the Health You Want. I'm here with Manuela Isola from Switzerland, and I met her at one of our wonderful JT Francie Baldwin meetings, and we have a lot in common. She's a health advocate. She's a health coach. She's also a successful entrepreneur, and we're going to let you tell, we're going to let her tell you a little bit about the things she's involved in. She also has, she's climbed so many mountains and even a volcano, so hopefully we hear a little bit about those adventures too. So, Manuela, what do you most want the viewers to know about you? Well, first of all, Stephanie, many thanks for the invite and being here. I'm very excited, actually. It's 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 really cool to share, you know, to share knowledge, to share my stories. Um. Well, at the end, for me, is I want to help people, right? I want to help people to have a happier, healthier life, and this okay. is in every <laughs> yeah, and it's in in every um, area. So when it comes in your in your job, you know, how can you be more happy, you know, in your health, you know, what can you do to uplift your life? So, and I agree, I think we get so involved, our private universes are so busy and we're bombarded mm -hmm. with messages all day long from a variety of screens. And then we're dealing with the impact of the EMFs from those screens. And also other things that are going on. I mean, our bodies are so resilient. I I often marvel that I've made it this long without more, you know, bad effects on the body, how resilient it is. So, you know, I'm a huge health advocate. I want to, I plan to be one, 140 years old. So I consider myself middle aged. <laughs> so <laughs> I think one of the things that made me want to interview you the most was that you said you had, you could do a blood test a dry blood test that people could send in so they didn't have to go get blood drawn. Do you want to, I mean, we yeah. don't have to start there, but I was just something I thought of that was so interesting and I'd never heard of that. So maybe we'll start with something like that. <laughs> yeah, let, let's start. There are a lot of topics we can talk. I mean, yeah, like uh, blood work. I think people need to do more blood work. Don't you agree? For yeah. Sport? And I think, yes, it's, it's important. I think the first one is like prevention, right? Yes. Need, to, need people like really need to take care of themselves. So it's about it's can be called either self leadership or you know it's really taking care of your health. You are right. responsible for your health. Exactly. So and what are, what are you doing to improve it? You know they're different. You can work with energies with you know you have different tools to how you can improve your health. But it's your own responsibility, and you have to own it. So, and for example, I'm also like an athlete and I love to climb a lot of mountains and alpinists. And I always like took care of my health or of the nutrition. This is what I thought. And then a friend of mine came to me and she, she said like, oh, you know, um, have you done a, a blood test to really see, you know, where you are, your, your status quo. And initially, my initial reaction was like, Oh, you know what? I think I'm healthy and I'm doing well, but why not? I'm always a curious person, right? And then I did a dry blood test. It's You can do that at home. You just poke the finger. And this is mainly measuring the balance between omega-6 and omega-3. That's oh. why it's called. Oh, so you got an omega profile. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So, And it's not only omega, it's all 11 essential fatty acids wow. and essential your body needs it you know your body needs it you know either through nutrition or through supplements and i guess you know like the food industry has uh has changed a bit the nutrition right, right? So the quality we, even more so we need to be responsible for ourselves we need to get the information, exactly. we need to verify, we need to really know what's going on. And the omega-3s are so important because I just read recently, if you're not getting enough omega-3s, your brain shrinks. Is that true? I just got chills yeah. at saying it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the, the the thing is like 60% of your brain is uh, fatty acids. It's the omega-3, the EPA and the DHA. So what happens if your brain doesn't get enough of these nutrients, right? Then, right. you know, <laughs> it will cause some damages. So for example, chronic disease or Alzheimer, 
and you know you're you need to you you need to feed your brain with the right nutrition so i and i think most people the, know sorry. that yeah yeah i would put that at the top of the list is to monitor your your omegas what's your ratio yes. Whatever, do you have enough threes i have to tell you for decades i try to get enough three from plant plant sources and I didn't want to do algae because someone told me if you do algae, it really flushes out and you get a lot of toxic, you know, it's so I, mm -hmm. I couldn't get it from flaxseed or flax oil. Fish oil is the only thing that really worked for me, although I didn't really want to do the fish, although I guess they clean all the mercury out of it now. That's my opinion. No, I think, yeah. So, uh, so with the omega three, there are four fatty acids. The first one is the plant base. It's the ala which is, uh, as you mentioned, in flax seeds, in lin oil, in, in blueberries, spinach. This is, you can easily get it from your nutrition. You can have like a, a table of lin oil every day or walnuts. And, and this is really important, but this is not enough. So, but then you need the marine-based omega-3. The other three. It's either okay. fish or it's algae. Actually, it's algae is also possible. So if you don't like fish, then you can use the algae, but the flax seeds is not the marine based. Right. The marine is from the That's source amazing. of the ocean, right? <clears throat> so this is important to understand. And what what has uh, helped me is to have a test because how would you know if you're in balance or not? I mean, some people feel, but for example, me, I didn't feel I'm. I was so much out of balance, uh -huh. right? But when I did the test, and I realized, okay, because I eat everything, but I don't really eat much fish. To be honest, I eat fish once a month. Yeah. Um, I don't. When I go for sushi, I have some algae, but I don't really eat much algae. So you would need four mm. to five times fish a week, or algae a week to That's get a lot. the. It's a lot of fish. Yeah, so this is a lot. And this yeah. is also like, you know, it, it's just so not my the lifestyle. The supplement's easier. The supplement is easier. And, you know, it's also better quality. Because Good let's point. say if you take the fish, maybe there's a lot of toxic in the, in our oceans okay. and so on. Oh, okay. So, and then you go from a bit from this guest base to test base. You okay. know, you you stop guessing, and and then you find out, and you have yes. something it black and white. <laughs> I love to, uh, love to get blood work done because. It, so what happened yeah. with your test? You said you were surprised when you did your blood work that it didn't come back so, as well. Not well, because you are an athlete and you you look very healthy. You're probably like eight percent body fat, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> maybe a bit more, but not so much. Um, well. Uh, I had a huge deficiency in omega-3, okay, but I had very low omega-6, six, so I eat quite healthy. So if you eat healthy, then maybe your omega-6 intake is not so much. So my balance was okay, but my omega-3 um, values were terrible. <laughs> they were minus 85 from the, from the target, right? So the there was a huge deficiency um, I had. And then I started to take the oil. And first I'm like, you know, you always want to feel something like I want to feel much better, but I already felt good before. So I'm like, okay, I don't feel anything. And then after uh, four months, 120 days, um, then you do a retest. Right. And then nice. uh, I've seen everything from changing from red to either yellow or green already. And I'm like, nice. oh, nice. okay. Then nice. it was like, first of all, like motivated, you know, I'm I'm a very ambitious person. So I, and I like numbers and I like tests, you know, so that motivated to keep going. Right. And, right. and then let's say if, like it took a few more weeks and then I've noticed other things because I never could sleep through. But it, I mean, I think I could never slept through my whole life, you know, uh, and out of a sudden I can sleep for, for a couple hours, like five, six hours in a row. Oh, and that's unusual for and you. I, and this was really unusual for me, that's you know, so I could really rest. Very healthy. Don't so I could really quality. rest. Yeah. Yeah. And again, I had always these 
uh, crunching knees and my uh, physiotherapist are like, oh, it doesn't matter. It's just noisy. But I'm like, yeah, but I feel a bit old and, you know, it just didn't. <laughs> hey, you needed a lubricant. <laughs> yeah. And, and again, this is like, and then the I've been now taking that for, I think it's almost two years. Yeah. And every day I feel like now like, wow, this improved. And I think last year when I went a lot of mountaineering, I realized because I also tested again, my omega three index is above ten percent, and if it's what? above ten percent, yeah. So really good. I'm, like, I'm struggling to get to seven. <laughs> yeah, so you need to be above eight to reduce yes. chronic disease. Exactly. But if you're above ten, your uh, recovery good. time is cut oh in half. So I can do great mountaineering, and the next day yeah. I'm like. Okay, and in the afternoon I can start again. You know, so I well, really feel that. Nearing, I think I'm sorry that your choice of activity it gives the body like kind of mild stress, and you know because it's you're having all these challenges, so it, it's so good yeah. for your brain to be in that state because adversity always ends up with something better. I used to think the opposite yeah. that complacency was where you wanted to be to grow from, but no, you need a little bit of you know no. like healthy stress. Right, healthy challenge. Yeah, it's healthy, really. but I'm much more relaxed. You know, I'm yeah, I'm that's... really more in ease, and really I feel also more my body. Right, I'm I'm just so much more focused. I'm more connected. But again, this is just like developed over the time. It's part and of what... I just like. Yeah, I I think your story is so valuable because it's one of the key things people can do to improve their health. I think. I fought it a long mm. time. I don't want fish oil. It grossed me out. I got one thing of krill that smelled so bad. It just yeah. traumatized me. But now I have a great krill oil. It made my it made my profile move up. Nothing had ever done that yeah. before. So I'm a believer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a believer. Yeah. yeah. And and let's say with that um with that balance oil, what we have, it's not only a, a pure fish oil, it's a combination with olive oil and fish oil or algae oil it depends if you go for the vegan version or not so what the researchers have found out that in nature the omega-3 is protected by the polyphenols so right. and the polyphenols yes. are in, in 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 early harvest um olive oil so when they extract the omega-3 they immediately add the olive oil and then it will go through the stability test, you know, so then it doesn't get run sick. So this is the, because the, the problem with omega-3 is that it oxidizes quite quickly. Very and you fast. Can smell right. it because, yes, because you can, when it smells like fish or fishy or, you know, and then it's actually not good. It's more toxic than, and then you kind of pay money for your good intention, but Right. The, the effect on the body is not so good. <laughs> so yeah. You you're involved with selling a a supplement. What is the name of it? This is a is it an it's oil from, capsule? Um you can choose, you know. Um they are different uh yeah, uh, variations. The the, Do you prefer a so, liquid or a capsule? Well, I personally prefer the liquid, the oil. Yeah. Because first of all, it's it's really uh, customized. So first of all, if you're a certain age, like if you're kids or adults, so there's a different uh, measurement. And it's also times body weight, you know? So okay. if you're 100 kilos, so I can't count in colors, or 50, you know, it makes a difference, right? So it's yeah. 0 0.50 milliliter times your body weight. So with the oil, you can be really personalized, and I think it has a great taste. So sometimes I use it in my salad or just pure after the breakfast, or I put it in my porridge, you know, you can be creative. But of course there are uh, other clients that they really don't like any oil. Then they take a capsule, yeah. but the, the capsule is just like, you can, the dosage is not perfectly to your weight. It's just approximately to your like weight, you know? So. So, so one capsule is for 30 kilos. So you're either 30, 60 or 90. And if you're between, you have to take maybe two and then three and, and you know, so. Right. Uh, yeah. 
That's better but again, for travel. They're better for travel, the capsules. Exactly. When I travel or when I'm in the mountains for a longer time, right. then I take the capsules. But for my daily intake, I yeah. I personally prefer the oil. And then there are people who cannot absorb oil. Then there's a water-based version. Or for the kids, you know, you can also put that in a juice. So there are three different options or four. How, then there's also like a vegan option. How do you know if you can't absorb oil? I wonder, what would that be, can, a, what would be a symptom of that? So, so this is what you figure out through the test and retest. Yeah. So okay. if you do your first right. test. You don't absorb and it, you you're not going to have second. it. Yeah. Exactly. And it's not improving. So uh, uh, a client actually had that issue that they it didn't improve. And then they found out they couldn't absorb oil. And then the, you, you can take a something to break through the oil or you change to the water-based one. And then one month later, all her values were on green. So it's wow. just like you learn more about your body through that right. test and retest. So it's really important to do both the test and the retest because then you see the progress. What you also can see from that test is, are you eating too much meat for your body? Are you eating too many oh. eggs? You know? So, really, so I, really, maybe, I need to know that. I think I eat way too many eggs. That's like my main protein. Yeah, or, or for example, when um, the, you use a lot of plant oils like sunflower oils, we can see that in the test. Yeah, and I bet you can. The sixes, up. the sixes go up. Yeah, exactly. So everything which lasts long is uh, involved, like there's this omega-6 in that. So I said all the convenience food is full of omega-6 so really do not take any omega-6 supplements because there's so much omega-6 already in the regular nutrition it's very important like do not take any combination with an omega-6 and 3 product for sure not because you have a lot of omega-6 already in everyday life well i'm a big fan of udo erasmus who mm -hmm. wrote incredible books about fat and the different that was how I learned about it and I actually got to hear him speak once and he was saying how I needed to drink a quarter cup of oil every day this was flaxseed on his 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 knowledge was revolutionary then I'd never even heard of omega-3s and I said that's not possible yeah. because you're fat phobic <laughs> but then I, it I mean it's so valuable and omega-3s omega-6 is everywhere I agree that's why I didn't buy his balanced oil because why do I need six? I get six everywhere. So I just, I believe yeah, yeah. pure for the three. Yeah, so. But, but the, the important, like the balance oil, what we have is not with a six. It's with the omega-3 and the polyphenols. So that is important. A little bit of so, nine for the olive oil. A little bit of nine. Omega-9 and three, right? And no yeah, six. So like That's omega, brilliant. Yeah, the, yeah, so the omega-6, uh, sorry, omega-9 is also part of the essential fatty acids. And then when you get the results of your of your test it's like 20 pages and they go through the protection value they do the omega 6 to omega 3 ratio the omega 3 index uh and and this is and and also like your cell membrane fluidity fluidity sorry <laughs> it's like how your yes, cells are functioning because yeah because the, yes. the, the 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 task of our cell is like to take in nutrition and to get rid of all the toxin. So this is when our cell is functioning in the regular way. It should be like a sponge. Exactly. Uh, but what happens if the cell does not get enough or not the right nutrition, then it's almost like it gets much harder and like a, you can imagine it's like a golf ball instead of a sponge. And what happens, you know, when it's a, like a golf ball, then it's then you don't you cannot even take the nutrition in, but you also cannot get rid of your toxin. So again, good the, the, the piece of everything <laughs> is really like that you get in balance that your cells and you have like thirty billion cells in your body. So imagine if the thirty billion cells are not working it will cause some irritation. And this is all caused, called like the, the silent inflammation, which leads to chronic inflammation and then chronic disease. It's important. It's not happening overnight. No. So this is long important. Term. Okay. Right, long-term effect. It's a long-term. And it's a, it's a 
silent process. And then we just realize when we have a lot of inflammation in our body, you know, uh, and and for for me, it's also important to understand why is omega-6 as important as omega-3. So omega-6 is not bad, but you should not have too much of that because the omega-6 is pro-inflammatory. So when you're sick, you need omega-6 to get the virus out of your body. You know, it's like a fire, right? It's a symbol of a fire. Oh. And the omega-3 you know, is anti-inflammatory. So it. to heal the bound or whatever, this is for this, you need both. You need the omega-6 to get everything out. It's like the fire. And the 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 omega-3 three is a fire free gauge. Is it the, the who is um, fixing the fire? How do you call him again? <laughs> the, the fire fireman. The fire department. Fireman, fireman. Oh. <laughs> so you're fireman, yes. Uh, yeah so like there's a fireman and and then for people like what does it mean a ratio you should have a ratio of three to one so you can have three fires in your body and one fireman but imagine if you have 30 fires and you only have one fireman oh that's a good way this to look is at when, it. this is when you understand the 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 word of inflammation because you cannot we, you cannot control all 30 fires with one fireman. Right. And honestly, the way we eat, a lot of us with prepared foods, with processed foods, they're very high in omega-6. They use a lot of seed oils. They use high fructose yeah. corn syrup. They use everything inflammatory. It's amazing. We don't like burst into flame when we walk around because of the inflammation. Exactly. Seriously. And why are we taught? Again, all the extra extra fire you know the more omega you eat the more fire you have it okay if you have more education. fire you need more fireman right so this is uh, it should be logic and easy but i think there's a lot of education which is missing unfortunately yes, yes. and i really yeah. realized that when i read dr stephen gundry's book the plant paradox have you read that it's I mean, uh, no i've read about it yes it's a great book he describes a microbiome and it was so fascinating to me. I'm an artist too. And I was like visualizing, it was like science fiction about what's going on in our gut. It's like a hundred yeah. trillion cells. And it's like, you're in charge of a large condominium and, and the good gut buddies that keep you healthy, want to keep it neat and clean. And then the gut gangsters come in when you eat poorly. And I started doing yeah. animations because of that. I was so inspired, but most yeah. people, when they see them, they either don't understand it or they have no interest. It's astonishing to me. <laughs> I mean, a I lot of people are getting more interested, but it's slow. Huh? Yeah. But I think it's a bit overwhelming to people because like, you know, like imagine how many hours you spend to read through all the books and talk. And it's, 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 it's a lot of knowledge you need to understand it properly, right? So you, you need to invest a lot of time. So when people are first hearing about like, essential fatty acid what is it or what does it mean and why do i need it right i think it takes a lot of education and what you said with the microbiome i mean for us it's important first to bring your cells back in balance and then the second one is the microbiome because 70 percent of the immune system is related to your micro microbiome and you we have a powder where you need to feed your microbiome with what the they right want what they want yeah what they want and and sometimes they, they we say it's almost like uh you know they have different tastes they want let's say if you're at a restaurant right they want chinese italian thai and whatever so you have the different needs in your gut so they want some chinese bacteria like i'm just as a picture right uh, they want some italian and so on so you need different uh probiotic to feed them right they need they need different things and and this is a really powerful powder which supports your microbiome to really hike you know <laughs> this is so important for everything it's also important for weight loss you know uh, because many people ask me like how do you stay in shape and one reason to stay in shape is to eat exactly what your body needs right 
Absolutely. You have to listen to your body and you have to really observe how you feel after you eat certain foods because your body will let you know pretty quickly if you pay attention. And exactly. I, and then, yeah. yeah. I like what you're saying. And I, I think it is a matter of education and even knowing what's going on in your, in your body and that there were organisms that require things that I didn't know they wanted. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. I would have bought certain lettuces and radic I would have bought radicchio had I known my lower intestine really loves that. I would have bought it over the years. I would have, you know, you just, it's education, I think. And I think we're getting more, you know, involved in self, you know, taking responsibility for our own health, like we were talking about. So I think that that bodes well for the future. What is in your powder? Is it pre, is it prebiotics or probiotics or postbiotics or everything? No, it's, it's a um, prebiotic. Prebiotic. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah, how you feed your gut. Perfect. Yeah, those are yeah. I actually take prebiotics. Yeah, yeah. So and, this is more yeah. important. The one is like to build up the bacteria and the other one is to feed them. And again, you need uh you know different components to to get all their taste, you know. <laughs> so it's the pre uh, yeah. the pre is to build up and the pro is to feed them, right? Is that I'm I'm not no, sure. No, I've been pre, reading about it. The pro is to build up and the pre is to to feed it. Okay. Sorry. You you know you can no you can feed. Oh <laughs> sorry. No you can you can use the, the probi probiotic. Sorry. And we have a probiotic is to to feed your gut. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Disclaimer. No, Sometimes I get fine. yeah. It's, We're fine. Yeah. How is I'd like to ask you what kind of diet what kind of nutrition works for you are you mostly plant-based do you eat animal protein as well and well I had to I try different things you know I went from a very short vegan time because for me it was too complicated but I also felt it doesn't my body needs something different so then I went to vegetarian then I went to uh more uh like low carb, I think I've tried everything in my huh? in the last uh, forty years. Uh, what I really now choose is like I eat what I want. Like it is like I eat, try awesome. to eat eighty to ninety percent healthy, but I don't limit myself. If I want to eat an ice cream, I eat an ice. If I want to eat chocolate, I eat chocolate. Because what I realized when I was very strict, I was super strict for two months. Then I said, like, maybe I have one piece of chocolate and I think I ate, I don't know, half a kilo of uh, chocolate right away. So, and and I, but again, I think it's very personal, but I think don't limit yourself, but be conscious about it, right? If I, of course, if I had a day where I've eaten not so healthy, then um, I try to be better the next day. Or for example, when I travel a lot, I take my multivitamin on top because then I don't get enough nutrition into my body, especially when you travel, when you go to these JT events, like you have no time right, and right, uh, they all. start from morning <laughs> till late night and what you eat is not the healthiest food, then I supplement even more, right? If I eat at home, I supplement a bit less, but I always have my basics. The basic is my oil, and my powder, right? This is my basic. And then I add like the the multivitamin or like some vitamin D or, you know, or some saffron to my diet, whatever it needs. So the oil, the oil is an everyday thing. Or do yes, you ever the take... oil is an everyday uh -huh. and I power an everyday thing. So and these the are the two. Okay. Yeah. I think that's so this is a supplement. I would start there. If you're going to supplement, yeah, yeah. not doing anything, if you did nothing else, I would do those two plus vitamin D and K and E. Yes. D. <laughs> yeah, but, but then the day we have a, a, a multivitamin in our okay. portfolio where you don't need to think, okay, do I need a K and A and whatever, right? So it's so compact, everything you need, it's equivalent of uh, four kilos of um, uh, fruits and vegetables. And of course, you're going to eat some, so you reduce the amount of what you take. So I take one yeah. or two uh, capsules um, of that multivitamin just because it really boosts my my energy. But the yeah. most important thing is like the oil to get in balance because if you're 
cells are not working, then whatever you take in, exactly. it's not as effective as it could be. So it's always a process. And I think it's a mindset to understand you need to supplement because the quality of the food you can buy is not as good as it used to be. I agree. I agree. And the oils are very pure. I mean, they're, yes, they're monitored, they're checked, they're, you know, verified by independent companies, right? Yeah. So uh, we uh, also have the TMP certification. So this is the same certification than all the, 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 the drugs have. Um, and this is the highest standard you can have. So in the supplement industry, this is an exception that we have such a high standard. Awesome. Because if you have the same, if you don't have that uh, certification, the GMP sign, then you can say, oh, we have X amount of milligram of this and this in there, but the truth can vary by almost 40%. Oh, really? You know? So, so <laughs> okay. unless you have the GMP sign, then it can only varies by a maximum of 5%. And this is important to know. So yeah. if no, you're it's getting modern, <laughs> if you don't have that official that that sign or certification on it, then maybe they're a little bit off what they what is really in there. And unfortunately, this is a bit <laughs> yeah, I don't range. think this is 40% is yeah. a percent is yeah. Yeah. And, and they're not responsible. I, they're not responsible because they don't have that. That's it. That's interesting. exactly. Then they can say, you know what? We were with uh, within the guidelines, and this is true. So when they say they are within the guidelines, it's true because they didn't have the GMP certification on that. But once you have the GMP certification on it, then you have to be really true what you have, what what's in it. So the fish. And I think, you, I'm sorry. The marine marine oil in your supplement is it krill or is it? It's from where no, you're this from, is actually, which seems like better fish, maybe. <laughs> so like it's uh, yeah, it's 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 um it's uh, the fish are from the north part of uh, Norway, and uh, it's also um these are the small fishes. They don't really live long, so they only last for or they only live for one one season, and this is where they take the fish fish oil from. So is it like so, a farm or are they, are they wild caught? This is wild caught. They're wild caught. Perfect. So that's really what I really look for is wild caught. And, and you know, nevertheless, oh. what, is, what is important for the, let's say, if everyone knows omega-3 is important and you you everybody wants to take it, you know, let's say we assume everybody understands why they need to take it and everybody wants to take it. There's not enough fish in this world. Good point. To give everyone uh, the quality of uh, of the omega three they need. So the future is more the plant based, like the not the plant based, the algae one. That makes right? a lot of sense. Yeah. So in the future, are they going to invest more and more into how to grow algae in that environment? So this is the direction. Everyone needs to go because there's not enough You're fish right. for everyone in the world. So I guess I'm sure there's scientists working on the algae now to take it into yes. the future. I'm sure. And I, maybe I maybe I should try it again because this doctor in California said to me, well, if you don't mind brain fog, go ahead and take algae oil. I'm like, I do mind brain fog. I do mind brain fog. Yeah, I yeah. Try it. You know, and he, you know how people it's kind of that psychosomatic kind of response. No, I but is, is is actually true because it's a lack of uh, omega-3 which is causing brain fog so one of my uh, clients also had brain fog and within two weeks he the brain fog was gone when he started take when he started supplementing yeah. right well i am supplement i am supplementing but i'm going to try the algae I'm not really worried about it. I don't think I'll, I'll get brain fog from taking it once every now and then. I think it'll be good. It's good to change things up. I think it's good to change supplements. It's good to change your routine with it. And that, just like anything, your body does better if it's not so accustomed. Yeah. yeah. I think 
what I always recommend is everyone to do the test with, you know, to do the test Absolutely. to see where they are, because then you can see, okay, is your current product working or is it not working? If it's not working, I would switch to another product. If it's working, great, continue. Right. Right. Well, like, I'm actually looking forward to trying your product because I want to get up to 10. That's my goal. Yeah. And I was so excited. Yeah. I was finally moved. I mean, I was doing plant-based. I was doing plant-based year after year and I, it wouldn't go up. I started taking fish oil and it, yeah. well, it goes to seven. I'm like, oh yeah. my God. Yeah. So yeah, but, it yeah takes, because it's four omega three acids, right? The first one is plant-based. The other three are marine-based. And again, if you don't get the marine based up, then of course you cannot get the nutrition you need just from the plant based one. But you can take algae, so you don't have to eat or or take fish oil. So, so you're not important. right. That that is a good. It's a good alternative. And yeah, I and especially if people like are vegan, and and they you know and and it's important they have a great source for omega three. I agree because it's, it is totally so necessary. What do you think about vitamin D? How much of that's in your supplement, your daily? Yeah. So, um, it's in the balance oil. There is, uh, some vitamin D there in two, okay. um, winter time. I, um, I take some additional vitamin D because I don't get enough sun. Uh, if I'm, if I get a lot of sun, uh, then there's enough in the oil. Um, okay. but during winter time, I always supplement. I also, um, uh, I work with a menopause coach and she also told me like during the menopause, you need extra vitamin D. I think it depends on where you are in your life. Uh, maybe you need extra vitamin D, but uh, for this, we also have a test. So you can first check where is your vitamin D level. Okay. And then you see how much you need. Awesome. Awesome. You need extra or not. So, as you know, far I'm a fan of everything which is test based because, like, <laughs> um, because otherwise it comes like, oh, it's good for you. And I always question, how do you know it's good for me? So, with exactly, that test, exactly. with a different I, test, I can, I can really check, okay, is it true or not? But, you know, everyone is different. Some people don't need a test. Um, I think it's beneficial because you can prove something. But again, some people say, Hey, you know, I feel the effect. I don't need to do a test. So it's up to up to you what you need. I think testing is a very important facet of self-health care because you could be rolling along and feeling great and your insulin is not so good and you don't always know, you know, before it yeah. gets too late and it's too high and things start happening because it's kind of like behind the curtain a little bit. Like but they always say, I don't know how it is in Switzerland, but in the US, they always test your blood glucose. Well, it has to stay within a range yeah. of going down quickly, but the insulin is kind of the elephant in the room to me. You need to know yeah. what's going on. And I think the same with omega threes, you need to know your profile because there's so much benefit. Yes. It's not, there's so much benefit to be derived from supplementing more than more or more on mm -hmm. that supplement than probably any other supplement. Don't you think as far as improvements to health, it shows great yeah. ones and then not having enough shows a slow ride to maybe illness. <laughs> Or not great health. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's an inflammation, you know, the silent inflammation becoming chronic inflammation and then chronic disease. And I think it's also the easiest one, right? If you think about like, okay, you have one shot of olive oil with, with fish oil or algae oil. First of all, it doesn't taste like algae or fish oil. This is important because otherwise you don't like to take it. It doesn't taste um, like but, yeah. No, but so first of all, like it should be easy to integrate it in your life, you know, and it's really easy. It's a small shot and you either add it to your food or you take it pure. So this is number one. And I think when you can do something organic and you can do something, you know, just with food, why would you take some official, like some drugs, you know, like you don't need drugs. I think the, from, at least from my perspective, I think you should first see what you can do with with just with food and with supplements before I would change to to some drugs because drugs are chemical and chemical is never good for your body. I mean, this is logic. So why don't you try first everything with, with nature? Right. <laughs> and then Absolutely. if you 
need to support, of course, for certain things you need something else. But I think we need to think differently. Well, what can we do from from nature, like natural support? And it's not always like we wait until we get sick and then we take the drugs and then from the drugs we have this side effect and this side effect and then we whatever, right? So rather think about prevention, what can I do? And prevention is not only the supplements, it's like getting enough sleep, you know, doing some steps and some walks. It's, you know, it's not with only that omega-3, your life is changing, but it supports your life. I think it's just a, a major component of a healthy life. Absolutely. It's a, it's a longevity lifestyle. You have to yeah. always start with what you eat. I, I used to think it was like 40% exercise, 60% diet, but I've been reassured many times it's more like 90% diet and 10% exercise. Yeah. I'm a little on the fence on that, but still whatever you eat has such an effect. And I think we're, we're not really taught that either. So I think people are becoming more aware of that. And I hope so anyway, because it has such effects and we, there's a lot of foods we don't eat at all that our body really does need, but how do we know that? And how do we find out that? Another th thing I thought was really interesting was something I read about WGAs, wheat germaglutinins. Have you heard of that? Wheat germaglutinins. Yes, but I need lectin on, on, for whole grains, which I always thought was healthier and I was getting more fiber. And then I find out these little lectins can pry between cells in your intestinal wall and cause inflammation. Who knew? I mean, just things like that. And then you realize, well, the Asians refined their rice to get the hull off. Hmm, maybe that has something to do with it. And the Italians and the French refined the flour, you know, down to so it was so mm -hmm. pure. Anyway, I'm getting a little off track, but I'm just saying we need to pass down what we learn. And I think maybe with the internet era, that'll stay more in front of people. You know, the things yes. to learn about diet, like Italians didn't eat. And then eat there are lies, exactly. Uh -huh. What you're saying, there's too many lies uh, about what would you need, you know? it's and, and I also, the more the better. It's not true. Do not overload your, your body with too much because it should be like, take what your body needs, but don't do more than your body needs. Like let's You're say- You're so right. You're so you, right. You, you overeat you terribly. Your, yeah, no, it's with everything. Like if you drink your whole bottle of oil every day, it's not that your, your health will accelerate. It's too much. Right. So just exactly. take as much as your body needs. And I think if you follow that, like, it's it's the end like the dosage which is like the poison you know and it's it's important take what your body needs don't overdo it why would you add so much supplements into your life i mean i have seen people and this is crazy where they have taken 20 different pills a day and i was like oh my god do you think this is good for you it's and they're like, oh, this is just what I regular take, and then I take this and this on top. And I'm like, don't you think there's something wrong? He's like, no, but if I take more of this and this, and I take this and this, no, stop doing that. Take what, like, see what your body needs, and take it what you take only what your body needs. You don't have to overdo it. And I think then everything is in proportion. I think where a lot of people in this, in my country, in the U.S., do way too much is take too much food in. <laughs> I oh, think yeah. <laughs> when you were saying that, I thought you were talking more about food, but I'm just thinking, if you think about the size of your stomach and the size of what's on your plate, where does it go? I mean, it amazes me that we that people eat as much as we do and as frequently, too. I think we eat too frequently. Our bodies don't get give our digestive system a rest. So I've started into yeah. fasting to give a little more space to my digestive system and everything. And I, I have a lot more energy. I feel really good. And then, like you said, you make good choices most of the time, but you're not going to deny yourself everything. We live in a time of great foods and, you know, that's, it's a very yeah. social event too. So we, I do well with the 80, 20, 80% 80 healthy choices, 20% yeah. debacles. I think fun. exactly. And, and yeah. you need to have fun, you know, otherwise you know, if you if you go with your friends and, you know, you want to have a drink, have a drink. You know, I mean, I rarely drink like alcohol, 
but when I have like a glass of Prosecco, then I want to enjoy it. You know, I don't want to say, oh, it's bad. Of course, right. alcohol is bad, but then I want to enjoy it. And then I enjoy it. And I don't say, oh, this is really bad. No, I'm like, okay, I'm out with my friends. I have a glass of Prosecco, but I don't need to drink a whole bottle of uh, Prosecco. And I think <clears throat> the same, you know, even when I have a dinner with my partner, he's like, oh, should we order a bottle of wine? I'm like, well, <clears throat> how about we order a bottle of water and we add two glasses for each because it's just like for the flavor and that right. is good enough. And then it took some time to to get into this habit because you always used to drink more and you do, do more and you eat more. And it's with everything. Like we 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 eat too much, we drink too much, you know, uh, and yes, we right. can, we, you can have everything just in proportion, right? So Absolutely. I don't limit myself. Uh, I can have everything I want, but I don't want to overdo it. And I think uh, I follow your rule, 80-20 is great because there are some days when you travel and you eat junk food maybe all day. Well, but if you eat the rest of the week and the rest of the month, pretty healthy, who cares, right? <laughs> your body also can absorb it, you know? I'm really so interested in what you do as an athlete because you're, you climb mountains and you climb a volcano and you live in Switzerland, which is the perfect place for someone who loves to do that. When did that interest start yeah. with the little girl and you were climbing then? I mean, is this a lifelong kind of thing? Mm, now, I think I always uh, was a sp sporty girl, right? Because my mom is a sports teacher and I guess she grew me up like you have to do sport. This is important to for your longevity and everything. So I, But I always loved sport and I always loved the nature. But I grew up in in Germany and um, I liked the mountains. I liked skiing, but I think the whole the 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 mountaineering really started when I moved to Switzerland about ten years ago. And okay. because they are right in front of me, I can go every you know every weekend. And then I started like from hiking and a lot of ski touring, where you climb up with the skins anywhere on any mountain, and then oh. you ski down. This became oh, a huge fun. passion. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you're by yourself or like not, mostly you go with someone like with your with your partner, with your friends or with a with my ski touring club. So that became a, a huge passion. And I really focus a lot on ski touring and pretty much every weekend I'm out in the mountains. And then it was just, uh, yeah, I think three or four years ago when I more got into like mountaineering, like high mountaineering. Uh, so I started to climb my first uh, 4,000 peaks, but I wasn't so good with the, with the height. So the higher I go up, I'm, I'm getting quite slow and I had some difficulties, but I really, I loved it to be on top of the summit and, and on, on, on top of that. And then I challenged myself and I went out uh, of my comfort zone and I trained more and then, yeah, uh, I trained more. I did more. I started some climbing. I'm not great there yet, but everything helps to, especially on the high mountaineering. So now I, uh, in wintertime, I go ski touring. Uh, and in summertime, I do high uh, mountaineering. That's amazing. And then... Last year, it was really, I, the year before, I already climbed to 4,000. Last year, I climbed seven, 4,000. Wow. But part of it is because my my health improved a lot. And and because my my recovery time is, is now reduced, so I can do more and I can train more. So, and by doing so, then I can actually climb more mountains because I recover really fast. <laughs> symbiotic. Far. It's symbiotic. Oh, yes. And and then a friend of mine came to me last year. She's like, oh, I want to go to Chile and climb oh. this uh, volcano. What? Uh, so this is the highest volcano worldwide you can climb. It's almost 7,000. And I was a bit afraid because me and the height is always a bit challenging. But uh, yeah, uh, out of a, we were a group of six and three came to the top and I was one of them. Wow. Was it really arduous and really hard to get up to walk? 
yes my- it's a process it's it's not a one climb up it's a process so within like I was already preparing one week before with my friends so we were already in Chile we did some smaller peaks and then the whole expedition is two weeks and then from there you started you know the first time you uh, stay overnight at 2400 then oh. you go up 3500 and then you sleep at 3500 then you climb some 4000 peaks then you sleep at four four and a half thousand or four thousand and then you start climbing 5000 peaks and 6000 peaks and wow. then you sleep almost at 5000 and then you climb the 7000 peak so uh-huh. it's a process it's a I'm down sorry. uh-huh for I'm the sorry. acclimacy process how long did you sleep when you stopped to sleep well um you don't sleep so great <laughs> on these but the air's thin yeah yeah the air is very thin uh it's a bit like you're a bit nervous and the air is very thin so sometimes you sleep a little bit better sometimes a little bit less but as long as you lie down you relax yeah yeah so um, yeah, and during this time, I've taken a bit more of uh, our saffron capsules to relax <laughs> because I mind was running, and this is a good uh, product for me to relax. Uh, so I've taken that on top to the uh, next to the omega three oil because the climbs are quite hard, you know. <laughs> Sounds like and, it. it really uh, does. And you don't want to have so muscles, right? <laughs> because when when you're totally exhausted, right. you cannot the next day. Of course, it's it's a mix of of supplements, uh, certain training and preparation, and a lot of mindset. Yeah, you know how you prepare yourself. You know how do you visualize everything that you come to the top? Because it's 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 not easy because the whole expedition, the two weeks, are kind of like tailored that you want to climb that summit, that big summit. That You're climbing one. a lot of small. Right. Things, but like your your ultimate goal is like you want to be on the top of that volcano but what happens right if you don't reach it you know because again there are so many different reasons why you cannot reach it and it's not given that you reach it it's not right I mean, of course you're trying best to prepare and you know to do certain smaller peaks before but uh, it's not given that you reach it and how do you deal with your frustration or how do you deal when it gets really hard and and it is really and this is what I've learned it is about your mindset because before I came to the I came to the crater that was almost on 6500 and I was so exhausted uh or 66 really? um I was so I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't walk anymore. I couldn't breathe anymore. I, I even didn't want to drink anymore. And I hardly have eaten. So the higher you go, go up, less hungry you are. Uh-huh. And I was so exhausted. That the guy said, like, you need to drink and eat something. I'm like, oh, I'm not hungry. And he's like, it doesn't matter. You need to eat and drink. So I kind of like just put something in my mouth. I'm like, okay, you need to eat. You need to eat you need to drink and then he said like well now now you do the last part and i'm like what do you mean the last part i'm exhausted i'm oh you're I, at the you know, that wasn't, a, moving, wasn't enough. You know? <laughs> yeah and and then he's like no you need to go to the top and you can do it oh. and it's like no it's not possible and then he's like yes the last meters is always a mind game whatever you think you know will happen oh my god and then I'm then he said, like, you can do it, you can do it. And out of a sudden, my mind shifted. I stood up and then I like started walking, walking, and I reached the other other part of the group. And then I climbed up the mountain. Wow. That's a good story. You shifted. Yeah. Your- and this, yeah. And, and, and I, you're exhausted I and you it. did it. That's amazing. Yeah. But it's what is more amazing is actually that that story um i brought that back as my own gift right for this year and it, i took it back in business so and then like they had so many challenges in my job where i'm heading up a sales team a global sales team and then i remembered you can do it whatever you want and then everything is possible so yeah that mind shift or mind game or like that 
experience I had in the mountains completely changed my my working life too. That's and, so interesting. And yeah. I, I feel, you know, I'm not afraid of things anymore, you know, because I know I can do it and I can trust myself because sometimes you think you cannot do, but you have enough resources to walk. Maybe you don't right. work perfectly anymore, but you have enough resource. And I think we we sometimes we don't trust ourselves anymore. We're like, oh, you know, this is a challenge and maybe I cannot do that. And you have to be confident, you know, confident in yourself. You can do it. And when you put all your mindset and the strengths to that, check what what else is possible in life and that session i mean or that moment i had and on the volcano was like really awesome. life-changing for me and, and yes this is what i want to to tell other people and hopefully your community trust yourself and you can do more than you think you can do you know?